In the 2010 presidential elections, the Commission on Elections introduced the poll automation, a process that will not be possible without the precinct count optical scan machines. In day three of Informant 100, Katrina Domingo tells us how these PICOS machines work. Nationwide polls in the Philippines debuted in the 2010 presidential elections. Though automation in the country was first tested in 1996 in the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao. The Commission on Elections evaluated the use of two kinds of election technology. The direct electronic recording had ballots in digital forms. The casting of votes was done by pressing buttons, similar to using automated teller machines. The Comelec's second option was the optical mark reader technology. It is a paper-based mechanism where ballots are fed into machines. This is the kind of technology used by the precinct count optical scan or the PICOS machine. Between the two technologies, the mo more appropriate technology is the optical mark reader technology. Why? Because um, one is we have a paper ballot to return to in case uh, people will, ha will, cast, will have some doubts on the results of the election. Unlike the direct recording electronic where the ballot is digitized, but we, we have no paper ballot. So with our culture na walang natatalo, puro sila nadadaya. So ang kailangan nila, meron silang basis diba, for protest. The PICOS machine has seven parts. The AC power adapter is the main power source of the machine. In case of power disruptions, the PICOS has backup power from a battery that can last between 12 to 16 hours. The PICOS startup is done with the use of a specialized security key given to the head of each election precinct. Two PIN codes are assigned to each machine. Each of the two codes is given to two other election officials. The PICOS machine cannot be started if one of the three security features are not entered correctly. Aside from entering the codes, the touchscreen also enables election officials to change machine settings. Once the PICOS machine is started up, ballots can be inserted into the feeder in four ways. The screen of the PICOS machines alerts the voters on the status of the ballot he or she inserted. It is either accepted or rejected. The touchscreen also displays the total number of ballots that have been inserted into the machine. This number can only be reset with the use of the security key and the two personal identification number codes. The information displayed on the screen is saved in memory cards inserted into these slots. One slot is for the primary memory card, while the other slot is for backup. To ensure the integrity of the digital information saved into these memory cards, its latches are sealed during election day. Once the poll precincts close at 5 in the afternoon on voting day, election officials who hold the security keys and PIN codes must configure the machine to switch off its ballot counting contraption. A receipt-like paper will be released from the PICOS machine's thermal printer. This paper will show the total number of ballots inside the ballot box and the election results in the particular precinct. Election officials must check if the number of ballots based on the receipt matches with the number of ballots displayed on the touchscreen. Once verified, the data from each PICOS machine will be transmitted into three servers. One for the Comelec, one for the media, and one for major accredited political parties. This transmission is done by making use of carrier SIM cards. The common access to make sure that signal strength will not be a problem, SIM cards from the country's three major network providers, Globe, Sun, and Smart, will be used. As for rural areas that are totally unreachable by telecommunication signals, the PICOS machine is compatible with broadband global area network technology. The BGAN is capable of transmitting even without cell site signals as it relies on 3 geostationary satellites to provide almost global coverage. To send the data, these transmittal devices will have to be connected to the PICOS machine. The data transmission will be completed between 3 to 5 minutes. 
As for the counting of votes, the manual procedure takes around two to three months before a winner can be declared. With automated counting, election winners can be declared in a matter of 48 to 72 hours. About 81,800 PICOS machine units are set to be used in the upcoming midterm elections. Each unit bought was worth 20,049 pesos and 58 centavos. With these specifications and features, the Comelec guarantees that this technology is an investment worth every taxpayer centavo. Katrina Domingo, Solar News.